Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in today's video we're going to be talking about this. It's the SwitchBot Wi-Fi water leak detector. So thanks very much for tuning into another Spectrum Geeks video. So yeah, I've bought this, the SwitchBot Wi-Fi water detector. And I've had water detectors in the past, ones that kind of connect into my smart thing and things, but I've been trying to get away from having to have multiple hubs and all sorts of different things for, for whatnot. And I didn't realize that SwitchBot existed actually until earlier on in January 2025 where I stumbled across this. Now I wanted to get a water leak detector for kind of one primary reason and then kind of a secondary optional one. Don't uh, judge all the pipe work and everything. Things aren't 100% finished yet, but I have a water tank here in the garage for my shower room upstairs. And I'm paranoid about this leaking or exploding or doing something because of the cars and everything else that are in here. So I wanted something that could have water leak detection in multiple locations and easily send an alert, alarm or trigger to my phone or something if needed. And that's what this does. And then I also have a septic tank. And in the past, that septic tank has got blocked and the water level has risen and I check it quite regularly but sometimes it has overflown a little bit and I also wonder if it'd be handy to have something that was wireless that could be connected in there that then when the water got to a certain point would tell me and that's what I can do with these. So uh, let me show you what's inside and then I'll show you my application here in the garage and then hopefully you can decide if it's going to be helpful for you or not. So as you can see it comes neatly boxed up, nothing kind of too fancy. I've gone for the switch box water leak detector that has the sensor cable. At the time of doing the video that's around £20. And that sensor cable is one metre long. And again we we'll get onto that in a little bit. You can also buy it without the cable and it costs £18 but pretty much everything else is the same. It comes with some uh, little bits of instruction material comes with two AAA batteries um, and then a series of 3M tape that you can then use to fix uh, the sensors. But it's a nice compact unit. It does require 2.4 gigahertz, gigahertz wireless network though, so not 5 gigahertz. And obviously it's a water detector. It's rated IP67 and it comes um, with a you know, decent warranty. And the other thing that's quite nice about this, even though it's obviously just running from those two small batteries, in typical usage, you're going to get about two years battery life out of it. And as I mentioned already, it's obviously got an alarm on it, 100 decibels, which you can configure kind of the length of how long it lasts and everything. Um, and also it sends alerts either on pop-up or email. Setting up the app is super straightforward as well. So you install the app, search for it, get things all configured, give it a name, configure some of the settings, etc. And then you're ready for leaking, dripping, and water level detection. And it works pretty well. So let me show you how I'm using it here in my garage. Before we speak about my specific application, I should point out obviously how the sensor works and how it triggers everything. So as standard without the cable, you have two sensor points just here on the front. So again, if water was dripping onto it, it's gonna alert you have two center points on the back as well. So obviously if it's immersed in water, so if like a, a washing machine was to leak or something, it's gonna detect you know, the dripping, also the leak underneath. And then with the sensor cable, it's double-sided, which is great, so it doesn't matter if water's going around the front or the back. So again, you can use this again for detecting a, a leak or drippage, but also what's handy with this is that water level. So I could have this uh, at the top of the drain, you know, in my septic tank, and have this kind of halfway down. When the water got halfway up, um, it's going to send an alarm. And also, what's handy about this with the one meter cable, especially in a poop related uh, scenario, I can keep this out of the water where I have to handle it and change the batteries and just have this the meter down uh, and trigger things. So, obviously, without it, the, the backing is just a blank backing 
um, with the sensor, obviously without the cable. So I think it makes sense to spend the extra two pounds, get on with the cable, gives you a bit more uh, versatility and options. And let me show you um, then if I just put a bit of water on it, kind of how loud the sensor is. And if possible, show the uh, pop-up on here as well. So let me just put the phone to one side a little bit. All I'm going to do is wet my finger to replicate obviously what would happen if the sensor got wet. And obviously all the liquid is doing is just bridging the gap. Obviously if I just touch it with a dry finger, nothing's happening at all. Wet the finger and get ready for 100 decibels of loudness. If I dry that off. Obviously stops. And on my phone, I'll, I'll put a pop up where I um, can't really see um, from the camera, but where the alarm has gone off. So it works really well, and it just means in my situation here, I feel like I'm going to get alerted quite early if there is a problem. So let me spin the camera around and I'll show you kind of how I'm having things set up. I've had them set up for just over a month and a half now not 3M'd in, because I want to do this video, I'm going to 3 m as in now, but just show you my scenario, give you some other thoughts on how you might do things. Okay, so this is my water tank. Um, everything else has been installed fine, without any problem. It's the, it's the tank connections that I'm most concerned about. So I'm interested in if hot water drips around in this area, and I'm interested in if there's any, any water that suddenly th that pops off, and then water kind of is escaping over here in this area what's what's going to happen so how i had this set up again i just used blue um blue tap for a while is the one meter cord i have just down around here so if all just works out it's going to cover up there and then this sensor I've just had around here, because if the water leaks out, it's gonna um, either gush over onto the sensor on the top, or water's gonna pool in this area, and then it will go off. So, touch wood, since this has all been redone, there hasn't been any leaks, but now I feel more confident that's all in place. So let me just 3M this in place now, cover this off in the video, and show you finally what it looks like. Okay, so this is it, my final setup, not 3Ming that on, because there's no need for my application. Again, I, I want to be able to easy pick up to replace the batteries, but any leakage here, this then runs down. 3 m just there, so if the water squirts out, I should be absolutely fine. So this video helped. Again, I, I wasn't aware of SwitchBot before. Maybe you've been using them before and this is just a product you weren't aware of or you've been thinking about. But great to have something that can connect directly to your Wi-Fi network. Doesn't require another hub. Not sure if it integrates with Home Assistant. That's only something I've recently started getting around to having the time to play with. But again, it's one of those things that you, know, you hope you're never going to need it. Um, it also does send a notification to your app if the batteries are running low as well. So um, yeah, I think it does everything that you might need. So hope this video has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching as always. If I'm really lucky, I'll see you again in another video. But until the next one, take care of yourself and goodbye for now.